Welcome back from Graphic Extras. In this tutorial I'm going to show you the MirrorMe plugin with the Polar Grid tool as well as the Grid tool and how to create some really quite unusual and interesting shapes in a few seconds. So I'm just going to go over to Illustrator I'm using CC and just going to quickly uh, select the Polar Grid tool. Maybe that's not one you use that often but I find it a very very useful tool. So I'm just going to quickly drag it out and I've set the initial colour as uh, just black I'm going to just increase the uh, size of stroke a bit and also I'm going to add a width profile which makes it just an added variation as it gives a bit of thin there as well as thicker there. Right, I've actually set up a number of axes for the symmetrical design to be 12. Now I'm just going to go to mirror me and just going to quickly apply the design. Very, very quick, simple symmetrical design and I'm just going to release there, apply it to layer and I can of course drag that around centre point as well as apply to layer right and the actual active area is just this area here you can actually see there all the rest is masked out that's just repeated all the way through the, uh, the design so you can just see and I'm just going to get rid of that now I don't want to remove all layer so just going to come out of there and you can actually see straight away fairly interesting design just using the polar grid tool. Obviously nothing really like a polar grid at all now. So I'm just going to select that, get rid of that, don't want that anymore. And I'm just going to go to the other tool, that's a rectangular grid tool. Of course you can change it, you can actually make more lines if you wish. But I'm just going to again just select so, so you can actually see it. And I'm just going to go width profile. Right, slightly more interesting grid and I'm just going to go to the mirror me tool and you can actually can see the, the actual grid, the lines, it actually just builds up very quick apply to layer so you can just drag that out and create more and more complicated design just using that just initial thing. I'm just going to use a section now, I'm just going to extend it out, extend it out and just apply the selection and at that point I think that's enough so and that is a symmetrical design straight away from a grid doesn't look a bit like a grid now but uh, so there are some uses for grids of course you could add colour to the grid as well fill it with different things live paint and then use it to create uh, an unusual design in with the Mirami plugin